onions we are back yes indeed it is the tongue that's got it going on it is us the hop this way show it's your boy zeus and joining me as per every week we have the very lovely the very talented miss rebecca nishi how you doing rebecca hello doing fine um very happy to be here again and <laughs> we have special thing for our uh for the fans of the show today so oh yeah we do and uh bring it up uh, right beside her the also lovely and also talented and also very deadly the one the only <laughs> miss stephanie young how are you steph hi. hi everybody we missed you i'm practicing my weapons over here <laughs> we're not nervous at all we're not no. nervous at all uh and uh Bringing it up, uh, the orator of order himself, uh, the, the sexy boy, the heartbreak kid himself, Money Match you. Uh, how you doing, brother? Hi. Happy New Year, everyone. Welcome welcome to uh, the second half of season three of our show, which I, now I can feel like I can finally be a part of because I sat through a majority of the first half of our, our show. I just watched as you all did a very very tremendous job killing it while i just sat and watched and, and cried well i mean <laughs> you, you gave us some good input from behind the scenes and uh you your your help was invaluable uh so don't let that uh go unsaid but thank you for being here my friend and of yeah, course uh, of course uh we couldn't do the show without having our historical uh, professor himself, uh, the master of mayhem, the 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 king of the ballot to walk. I can't say it, but the one and the only, Mr. Frank Zhang. How you doing, Frank? Uh, much appreciated. Um, not the king, not the king. That's someone else. But uh, much appreciated. <laughs> Good to be back. Good to be back. Happy 2024, everybody. Woohoo! Uh, this is this is great, uh, folks. Uh, yeah, we went over it last time. There was the bad news we got that Nap. Uh, that's uh, excuse me max had canceled uh warrior but good news netflix has picked up our guys and gals over at warrior and uh they are going to be airing all three seasons so folks make sure you get out there and stream it and watch it because we want another season and we can get that done with you folks don't forget, you can do your help by using the hashtags that you see down below there. Hashtag Warrior Season 4. Hashtag W4 Warrior. It's uh, Warrior and- spelt with a 4. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> it's a war- It's the A is the 4. That's what that is. It was being you know what? For, the, uh, for those listening oh, on the yeah. podcast, do what Matt said. And yeah. hashtag, hashtag Renew Warrior. And, of course, hashtag warrior max but let's change that to warrior and remember remember on netflix it's on on february it's so once february rolls around of this year that's when everybody and their mom goes on netflix and just streams the shit out of all of it because you already know what's going to happen numbers will pick up we've already been you know us here and then the fans and everything have been signing petitions i'm sure have done more than what we've been doing so far Make enough noise. We can do this again. We, can, we might be able to do this in, again and get this, four. Four, we maybe. Can do this. We can. We will do this. Um, and folks, uh, you know, the some of the ways that we feel like uh, we can do that and help out is by having shows like ours and other podcasts go out there and talk about this great show that we all love. But unlike some of these other podcasts, we get a little in every once in a while and we get a little inside uh, a little inside information and get a little priviness uh, from some of the creators and some of the actors. And today, 
That is one of those days as well because we have, that's right, from season three, Valentina herself, Miss Larissa Jordan. Yeah. Yeah. Hi, everyone. So good to see you oh, live. Amazing. Thank you for joining us from South Africa. No problem, guys. I'm happy to be here. You're very welcome. You see, it's a lot coming in here as well from Mel Bass. Mel Bass, Eric. 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 Yeah. Uh, everybody's uh, lots of love here for you. And uh, first of all, Larissa, let us just kind of jump into it. Season three, Warrior. This is your big film or big TV screen debut. What was it like in, in becoming an instant fan favorite on this iconic show? Um quite daunting i got a bit of um what do you call it imposter syndrome <laughs> didn't think i deserved it but uh it was very daunting and uh, when i first got the role i cried and i told my agent no you've got the wrong person i got let go at first so if you didn't know you know i they didn't want me anymore and then yeah i got i got it and i cried i cried a little bit and I mean, they, not only did you get it, but we got you. And I think they got it right by casting you in this role. I mean, Woo! you own this role. And I don't I don't want to give out spoilers or anything because it's season three. Uh, it's been out for a bit. But you should have been episode, seen this by now, damn it. Come on. In your episode, you are the only one that basically survives from your group. <laughs> you know, they say on the show, if, if you if you don't die, you might come back. So hold thumbs for season four, and uh, maybe I can come crawling back hurt. You never know. Taking revenge. Oh. I, I am absolutely now for this. Uh, we need this. this Putting is it a, out yes, another universe. reason we need season four. Another reason we need a season four, or at least some spinoff series. Uh, Steph, you said you well, had a question for uh, Larissa. Well, actually, and that just came um, brought up another question for me. So as far as accent, you know, there were quite a few folks from that particular episode who are South African, but then you're playing yeah. Germans. So if there's a particular coach for that episode to really coach yeah, you for yeah. the German. Um, there was a coach. I, um, I didn't know if I was going to get one because <laughs> I couldn't speak a lick of German or accent or whatever of it. And uh, yeah, they luckily gave me an accent coach and we went through it like the whole week, voice notes back and forth if because we couldn't meet or um, he was busy or I was busy, you know. So we did over the phone accent training on voice notes and um he, he even suggested a few lines or changing a few lines. Thank you, Mel Beth. And um, yeah, so I, I was very nervous. Like I said, I, I'm going to say this a lot. <laughs> um, but yeah, yeah, we, I did that. And I hopefully did it some justice. Oh, dot, dot, dot. absolutely. <laughs> absolutely. Um, and, Without and skipping a beat. Yeah, and we're seeing in the comments here. You saw Mel Bessa, you kicked ass in that role. Derek Chin saying, voting for a Valentina spinoff. That's um, big. Let's go. <laughs> Michael Baker says, Larissa was easily one of the most memorable episodes in one of the most memorable scenes. Um, I love yeah. that. She's totally seen. Thank you. Give me flash. <laughs> and I'm not sure you know about Michael. Um, he's actually part of the team that runs the Boston Asian American Film Festival here in Boston. Oh. So, yeah. Okay. Oh, you know, no, film wise, no. I trust his judgment. <laughs> Thank you. And so, does, <laughs> and so does your sister Heather, who says, Great idea, <laughs> Derek <laughs> Chan. Sister, my little sister. Uh, Hi, Heather. And the Prissa and the flowers keep coming in for you. The professor, who says, You did an amazing job. All caps on amazing job saying the fandom loves you. We absolutely do. What mm -hmm. Larissa, did you have any idea that your character was gonna be such a standout uh when when you got this role? No, 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 not at all. I actually thought my character was going to get, or my scenes were going to get cut. So I was messaging Perry and Jason. I was like, no, um, 
what if it gets <gasps> cut you know look at that wrap party <laughs> And I'm like, yeah, they're like, no, this seems too important to get cut. So I was like, okay, still holding out hope. Whenever I see it, then I'll know it's real, you know? So, um, yeah, I didn't know it's going to be that big. Thank awesome. you. <laughs> what, what is, what is your life been like since then? Because this is a big thing, especially, especially the hometown girl, you know, and oh my God, she, she made it big. She's got this, this, this role. How has your life changed? Um, not much, really. Um, I think maybe when I come to America someday, maybe people will recognize me more. It's quiet. It's the it's a small town. Everyone's just like congratulations, and they watch it and they're like, "It's that. It's that's a scene." And I'm like, "Yeah, yeah, that that's a scene, guys. I told you, <laughs> but they didn't believe me." So I I think it was a bit of a shock to everyone that I was doing that, but um, not much actually. It's just quiet, and I like it. I mean, well, awesome. now you have yeah. to come to the U.S. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, <laughs> maybe. <laughs> um, oh, actually, one little one little tidbit, and it's just since my sister chimed in, I was telling my sister. Larissa, you remind me of one of her besties whose name is Larissa. No way. So it is so was... eerie because there's so there are little things, just just you know, similarities and you know, facial structure. I'm like, okay, they do. They remind me of each other. And this her name is Larissa also. And she's a warrior convert also. So I just had to throw that up. Happiness. There. I'm converting right. my whole family. I love it. <laughs> Uh, you're getting some more love here. And from a fellow warrior, Trevor Otim himself says, Hi, Larissa. Hi, Hopway team. And yeah. Listen, Hi, little Joe Bird Buddy. If anything, I'm big. Come on now. Come on now. Yeah. No. That, oh, you're big, not, yeah, you're big Zeus. Come it's, on, it's Trevor. Done. It's done. Just it's, so you know, L Larissa <laughs> fucked your whole world up. It is over. You are little Zeus. You are done. <laughs> It is game One little game. line that wasn't supposed to be there. Fun fact, but uh, no, no it way. Was so there. Did... Oh yeah, so That's remind hilarious. us. I think you wrote that on YouTube. But how did it happen again? Yeah. Oh, so um, the accent coach kind of said there, if you want to put in the scene, you know, throw a few lines in there if they'll allow you. So I I ran the um, the words kind of by Brett. Who was the director of this of this episode? And um, I was like, "There's this little line, yeah, look at that. There's there's a line that says, um, uh, come he come here, my kleine Zusa.' I think that's the line. Um, and uh, he's like, "Yeah, that's perfect." And I su I suggested maybe pulling him like off the bed, and. Um, yeah, he's like, yeah, let's run with that. That's freaking cool. And the line actually means, come here, my little sweetie. So it, it sounds like Zeus. So they kept the Zeus and it's kind of that just made the whole scene more fun. And when I saw you guys talking about you being Zeus, I was like, oh, shame. This is your life now. Oh, yeah. I just messy. Zeus is either a little sweetie oh or God. a little Zeus. Oh man, either way you're fucked, buddy. All I know is that my 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 Tinder profile now is little Zeus everywhere, and I just no. let's go. Oh, let's oh, go. Little Zeus everywhere, huh? Yeah, little Zeus everywhere, huh? <laughs> I just remember, I just remember seeing that. I just remember seeing that pop up in the subtitle. I was like, what? <laughs> I was like, is that a German thing or is that a wait what? I I feel like one of you's. I, I feel like somebody from the group messaged me after that episode and was like, "Did they do that on purpose?" And I'm like, "No, like <laughs> they don't watch our show. Like I know they've been on our show, but I mean, would maybe be, would be me that I they mean, made fun of." Brett right. knew you by then, probably, and when he heard that, yeah. he was probably like, "Yeah, yeah. hi, Zeus." <laughs> <laughs> It's so this is for you, Brett's buddy. Off ch chuckling somewhere. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, it's uh, Brett, I don't feel like uh, it's coincidental at all. I don't know. 
you, you guys, you know what? I don't know. You know what? I'm gonna have to have a talk with Brett a, a, again <laughs> uh, soon. When he we will have Brett show, joining us again soon. Uh, but when he comes on the show, we we got to be like, look, man, ask him. You, we are, was we that you? Did you low key <laughs> pin him to the wall if you have to? <laughs> no, he still scares me. Um, so th th this is uh, this is uh, fantastic. I I'm having a lot of fun with this. There's a lot of comments coming in here. Uh, Derek Chin says, uh, "Larissa, Larissa probably gets some unwanted attention from the role, but it was very courageous, and that's why it stood out." Wonder what if any input Shannon might have shared. Now you had said on some of your posts about uh, uh, meeting Shannon and her being there with everything. Um, what was that like? And did Shannon have uh, anything, uh, any words of encouragement for you? Um, it was it was very surreal, um, and you know, as being a kid who loved Chuck Norris and Bruce Lee, and you know, I mean, it was so surreal seeing her there. And I I think I even told her this at the rap party when I might have been a bit under the influence of alcohol. <laughs> um, <laughs> And, you know, her herself uh, living up to this legacy and um, sharing it with the world, she is also her own person. And that's yeah. that's wonderful because, um, I mean, if you have to be putting this big legacy of your father out there, then you don't maybe have any time to be yourself and have time for yourself. So I think it's wonderful that she was there. I didn't expect her to be there and um yeah she was there at every scene and oh. she was even there yeah it was very it was very mm -hmm. nice to see her there kind of everything feels like a like a blur um because it was just so so surreal i i mean uh, yeah and epic yeah. The, to think of how epic it was that so one you had brett chan direct your episode which that was Brett's first directing ep uh, direction of, of that episode of the series. Yeah. Um, who he is, we all know how great of a stunt director he is, but we got to see him show that he's just as equally a, a great director as well. But you also got to be in Shannon Lee's comeback. Like this was yeah. this was the same episode that Shannon Lee came back with her acting. Um, it, it is. Do you know that in the moment, or is that lost on you? Is that something you no. can get getting back on? I I can think back on some things that happened in like the the training area. Um, I didn't. I knew she was going to be in the season, and they were like, "No, it's going to be an Easter egg," and she has to do the scene with this kid. She hasn't met the kid yet, and um, I was like, "Okay, so you." you being your doing your acting thing she's like yeah I, just, I think i need a bit of training again because i haven't done it in years um and i didn't know she was gonna be in the same episode so when i saw it i was like no way i'm in the same episode as shannon <laughs> so daunting <laughs> so it was very 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 cool uh yeah i want to actually my eyes are tearing up thinking about it it's, it's amazing <laughs> I'm just going to add one little tidbit of like, you know, I went to, you know, rewatch the episode, of course, because we were having you on and just the significance of that episode. And as you mentioned, Shannon being on there, you know, the, the part of the episode where your, you know, your South African buddies playing German set called the child half breed and all of that significance of, you know, that being mentioned in the episode, yeah. you know, this is a half breed child, half breed child, and a whole bunch of us are half breeds, and Shannon is. Yeah. So that all of that is so significant for someone like me, and so I got emotional watching the episode again. Of course, of course, it's beautiful. <laughs> you know, it's so beautiful. Yeah, oh. and it was also on the anniversary of Bruce Lee's death, I think, passing. Yeah. So that that yeah. gave me like. Shivers all over. Yeah. Ragu, Ragu says uh, Shannon's first TV acting was in the 90s on Martial Law. She was oh, great in that I too. I forgot about Martial Law. Ooh. That's right. You know that one. I, I'm, and I'm a 90s I kid. I still remember it. that. <laughs> um, Emma Hong and Arsenio Hall. Take I think I'm out. a bit young. I'm sure they got reruns, <laughs> sure well, they got I, reruns yeah. online. Yeah, yeah I'll, I'll definitely look for it. Hall, so. <laughs> Arsenio Hall, that, that you got me sold right there. 
Whoop, whoop, whoop. Um, I remember that night before Larissa's shoot, Jason had a cooler box to prep for that crazy epic scene with Valentina. Do you remember this? <laughs> is he telling oh, no, no, I think it was the night before um, we even did the scene. So maybe it was a scene with Trevor or I wasn't there. I would think I was working. <laughs> I was doing my day job. <laughs> Oh, speaking of which, should I was look up some history? You know, did you you were doing data? Yeah, yeah, I did yes. some data coordinating yes. for a logistics company, and actually, while I was doing Warrior on the off days that I wasn't shooting or doing it, you know, practicing the slap, <laughs> um, <laughs> I, or practicing my accent, I did. Um, I I worked, so I got up at seven, went to sleep at like ten. Because I wanted to catch up on work that I might miss, you know, because of the shoot. And they were very understanding, which is, it's so rare to yeah. get people, especially a large company, to understand that you're doing this thing because you love it. And um, they gave me some off days for it. So, yeah, was negotiating a lot with them and just communicating openly with them what changes or, yeah. Amazing. And well, I, I'll, I I'll even, be aspiring to be you. Uh, <laughs> I, I was I like, do it just finished the data. Oh, okay, got it. So I'll be venturing to that. So <laughs> I may I may bug you about some data. Oh, you, you, you can. Just you you can. Don't worry. Um I also remember just sitting there with my laptop on a day I was like um going to practice my slap. I was sitting there doing my work. And also that's the day I met Shannon. And she's like, what, what, what are you doing? I'm like, oh, it's just my day job, sitting here, living out my dream and working. <laughs> that that's the second time, practicing the slap. Dedication, I love it. Um, <laughs> we did, with one oh. of the stunt people and, um, yeah, we just practiced it so I wouldn't actually hit him in the face. <laughs> <laughs> Love it. Uh, the, bomb sh the bombshell blurred, who is Matt's nemesis, says, sorry I'm late. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, Welcome. <laughs> mm -hmm. Hi. And, um, Hello. Have you <laughs> have been dancing before, like 15 years or so? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I did ballet since I was four. Snuck into ballet class without my mom knowing, so she didn't pay for it first off the first oh, wow. few months of me dancing. I like and it. Um, when she found out, she was like, how dare you? But do you want to do this? I'm like, yeah, I want to dance, mom. <laughs> I don't sneak into stuff for no reason. So, <laughs> um, <laughs> so I've been dancing since I was four, and um, I, I've stopped since last year i think yeah but uh, but i'll pick it up hopefully soon because i tore my acl oh, and it's a bit traumatic <laughs> yeah. so yeah now that wasn't uh filming that scene with jason was it <laughs> <laughs> no, no. luckily oh, not yeah. um, a bit before that and after that so Ooh. three times in a row imagine oh, wow. Damn. didn't oh, learn my lesson <laughs> Man, you are uh, you are determined. We can see. Uh, we got another comment here from Trevor Otem who says uh, Jason was doing push-ups between shoots of the wedding scene. Chelsea and I also had to go. Had to go. I think Jason when doing the most push-up wins doing the most push-ups. I still think he wasn't ready for Valentina. <laughs> no, no, you know no. what? Now that he mentioned that Jason was actually doing between the scene. Um, he was doing push-ups and pull-ups on the frame of the door. Uh, he was like, "No, nah, I haven't. I haven't been to the gym in a while, so I just need to kind of like pump up. I haven't taken off my shirt in a while, so I'm like, uh, he's pushing, doing push-ups and stuff. I'm like, okay, let's go. You can do it. I'm not gonna join you, but pump. enjoy it. <laughs> yeah, you gotta get that pump. He's like, all right, yeah, all right, I'm can. I'm fucking. Yeah. Yeah, let's go. Yeah, that's cool. yeah. That's cool. So they can let's just be thrown forward. around. <laughs> No one's gonna call me little Zeus. And he couldn't feel his body after that. <laughs> wow, I mean, uh, it was wonderful. His, his little Zeus can go uh, shirtless. This little Zeus cannot. This big Zeus <laughs> shall not. 
I think it's just safer for everybody. That Come way. on, everybody can. Um, he did push ups on. He did push-ups on the cooler box. We are getting all the inside <laughs> tea. Uh, Trevor's just assu uh, assuring that he will never be on another set with, with Jason now. I am Spilling totally all the tea. All the all tea, the exactly. I oh, love Larissa, it. did you see that ABBA video, the, you know, Dancing Queen, um, you know, lip sync but with that Rebecca and I had with the with Trevor and his siblings? <laughs> oh, no, no, I didn't see I that. I should actually you. go look for it. Please send it to me. <laughs> Thank you. Total goofballs. Total goofballs. It was great. I love Maybe. it, though. Everyone could just uh, be themselves. And you need more of that. Yeah. So, so Larissa, what was the one thing on set that, that uh, you weren't prepared for? Like, And I don't mean like in training-wise. I mean, like, what was the one thing that you're like, oh, wow, I never expected this? Oh, um, just everyone carrying your things for you and the amount of food you eat, um, <laughs> snacks and, and, and not being able to eat that food because you're too nervous to eat the food. Um, yeah. And just being treated like everyone's so nice, you know, so just that and everyone being like, can I hold this for you? Or um, here's a little fan to cool you off or, you know, so it was so weird. And I'm like, I'm not used to this. I'm just used to doing everything myself. <laughs> Crafty is a trap. So I think that's the one thing I didn't expect um, being well, treated what... like that. And I'm just like, I'm not just a normal person, guys, please. I can, I can hold my own things. <laughs> Love it. Uh, Becca, you had a question. Yeah. We were speaking before about the environment of the warrior um, team cast. And I always say that Bruce Lee spirit is always there, always making the one family, you know, like everybody gets along and everybody that comes uh, into the show becomes uh, a part of, of the family. And I wanted to hear from you. How did you feel about it? How did you... Uh, um make the connections what do you think about the cast uh how they treated you and all that everyone's so wonderful guys and i'm not lying um I, i'm not even holding back they're just super super nice and um i just saw the photo with perry i kind of i kind of scooted under his wing um, by myself and adopted him as my um, <laughs> set set oh. grandfather. <laughs> so um, it was really nice having him there um, and everyone there. Even even Jason, the first day we met, I'm I'm like, guys, I I'm bad with remembering names. Um, I'm sorry if I call you Justin by accident <laughs> or and he's like no it's okay and I was just rambling a lot and they're like and I'm like no I'm just nervous sorry if I ramble they're like just breathe it's okay and um, on the first day I think um, I met um, Ken um, and he was telling me to just keep my feet on the ground and breathe and then just play so Everyone just had the nicest things to say. And Olivia was there and there, and she's inviting me to a rap party. I'm like, I don't even bring makeup for the rap party. What do you mean a rap party, guys? So, and then it was just instantly a part of a family and it felt great, you know, as a first experience um, doing a scene like that and doing anything on TV, having this experience, I don't think I'm going to experience this anywhere else. I hope I am uh, being a part of a family that big and that connected and just feeling the warmth everyone has for each other even was amazing. Yeah. I hope someday I'll experience it again. On the flip side, I'll meet um, everyone again in hopefully season four. Yes. <laughs> your Four, your answer five, six seven. <laughs> your your answer every time e, any one of us always asks this question is verbatim almost to the T about the whole family environment and how they feel like that. I don't think anybody has said anything differently. Any guess? It's always family. Yeah. Yeah. 
if and this was the new Fast and Furious family, warrior oh. family, yeah. Hashtag one family, Bruce Lee. One family, guys. Yeah. <laughs> I don't have right. friends. I have family. Yeah. And even the, the the cast, the main cast, they they have a hard time find the same environment in other shows, the other uh, mm -hmm. jobs they, they have. They always say that it's not like Warrior. Warrior is really special. Yeah. It yeah, it is. I think it starts. It will always be on the top of my heart. Love it. Love it. And you uh, already have a larger family. So think about it, how quickly, you know, we all connected with you. These are bonding moments. You need to just was... come out to Hawaii and visit me when I move there. So I'm just saying. <laughs> Listen, I would be honored to come there, even just to be at the beach, to be honest. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, I actually got but, um, Emily here, Emily Child. She came here in January last oh, year. Wow. Um, wow. That's amazing. I met her, her in Rio, showed her around. So, oh, that's so cool. Time. <laughs> and well, of us. Hey, listen, yeah, not just I, Brazil and Hawaii are cool, okay? I'll have you know <laughs> that between too. Philadelphia, and New Jersey, and Welland, <laughs> Ontario, Canada, we have some of the slushiest <laughs> snow you'll ever see. <laughs> Okay, listen, through, guys. Cool um, send here. me wherever you guys are from. I'll try to save, and maybe <laughs> I'll do one each third year. Yeah. Um, <laughs> no promises. Well, nah, you're all here. You're not missing much. Ball. I'm telling you right now. You'll be. You can pass me by. It's all right. There ain't, <laughs> ain't shit here. It's cool. Well, you're near. Yeah. Uh, you're near New York, maybe. If she comes to New York, we can go there and. She's hello. closer to come to mine to to get to New York than to him. I'm or right you guys can all come to Cape Town and just. Yeah. That's a good idea. <laughs> that might be a very bad idea, in a good way. Oh. Be very bad. Yeah, yeah. Just going um. out into town and just vibing together. That would oh, be cool. Please. I have oh, yeah. Rebecca and I had a preview. In. If we there's no season them. four, I'm pretty sure we would be the season four. <laughs> like, we would be that. We would be the final season of Warriors. The tongue we out and about. Time. Yeah, and then we should make a crowdfunding for the Hop This Way show. Go to Cape Town. I agree, <laughs> and do a live show there. Hop away. Hop <laughs> away. <laughs> yeah, thinking about that, Charlie Bugenon, so amazing on that role. And he won um, award recently for another another um, show that he made a, a film, I think. Did you know Charlie Bougainon before, Larissa? Mm -mm, no, no, I didn't know. I didn't know. This is news. This is amazing. Hopefully, all of us South Africans can just go overseas and show up, show them what we've got. You know, because. Yeah. I feel we are a bit underrated. Just yeah, a bit. We have, <laughs> have very talented people from there doing well, yeah. great jobs. The greatest actor in my of my generation is South African. So I am I've said for the longest time and I still stand by it that Charlize Theron is the mm. greatest actor on the planet. Mm. Uh, I, I have rarely seen anyone that can go toe to toe with her. Um, are all of her decisions the best movies? No. But we all need a paycheck. Yeah. <laughs> but, but it, she's great, though, from transforming from character to character. I have um, right yeah. Can I actually tell you a little tidbit about Charlize? Mm. She's she not was. South African? No, no, she is definitely. She's from Benoni, guys. She's like 15 minutes away. She's like, we Benoni kind of vibes. <laughs> she was in school with my aunt in primary school. Oh. And yeah, I don't have photos. She yeah. probably has them, but my aunt just was like, yeah, Charlize was in my primary school before I moved. And like, what? Yeah. Charlize? Oh, the Charlize? <laughs> what do you mean? So, what? yeah, and um, that's amazing. I think oh. all of us should aspire to become Charlize. I agree. Yeah. I absolutely and, agree. And Langley's. Langley's oh. amazing. Langley is doing so well. He, can he do even did anything. one piece, guys. One yes, piece yes, anime. It. It's so I bizarre hope. seeing him in one piece, you know, jacked uh, compared to how he is as Buckley. Yeah, yeah with, with the, the Banshee. Go back to yeah. Banshee, though. Oh, yes. 
Oh yeah, and where he's uh, I forget his character's name, the military guy though. Yes, and, oh, mm-hmm. another badass. Um, and then uh, what's the pirate one that he did? Black sails. Oh uh, yeah, black sails. That's Sales. right. I have to. I Shit. forgot. I I forgot about black sails. I need to go back yeah, and watch it. I haven't actually watched it. I should watch. watch that. Oh, it's good. Oh, it's good. He can do it all. There, there's not much that that man cannot do. He's very um, diverse. Trevor, we'd love to see you on uh, One Piece as well. Uh, now we are getting. Now we're not quite at our hour point. We're just a little bit over halfway point. This is the time, though, where I figure because we have a segment that comes up here that's a pretty tough and investing uh, a segment for our guests that come on, and that is where they get what is it? Not patched, but you get burned into our tongue. You got to go through the tongue trials here, the hop this way trials, and they are put on by our tongue master. The one, the only money Matt Chua. Yes. Matt, look at that. Look at that handsome face. I'm so I'm sorry. Gonna cry. I'm so sorry. I gotta do this to you. <laughs> she is not. Um, so Matt, do you want to give her the rundown on how this is gonna work? Absolutely. So pretty much here's what's gonna happen. All right. So you can't panic just yet. You can't after I give you the uh the details on everything. So what it's gonna be is it's gonna be 10 very important questions that you are going to ask or i'm going to ask and then you're going to answer and after <laughs> all 10 answers are given then we will then determine if you are part of the hop this way tong or we just cast you out so far <laughs> so far we haven't had anybody cast it out so we think you'll do just fine or so. i'll make history well, you could make history either way. This could be a win-win. I have no idea. So, I like it. Larissa, are you ready to go through the Tong trials? Okay. Let's make him go, guys. All right. I now, because you are there. brand new, all right, I will actually give you the option. Would you like to do the old Tong trials, or would you like to do the new one for this season? because you did not participate in the last Tong trial. So I will give you the option on how you are going to get destroyed. I feel like this is the first trial already. Um, I'll do the newer one. The newer one. Just to save myself. (laughs) All right. So this will be a first because nobody has heard these questions before either. So this is going to be. Uh-oh. Yeah, no one's heard them. I've created these all myself. So good luck. Here we go. So making history. Question number one. If you had a time machine, would you revisit your past or see your future? Revisit my past. Okay. Very good. Question number two. Name a show, movie, or cartoon they should never do a reboot or remake of. Um, does anime count? Yes, it does. Berserk. Oh, yeah. Wow. Yeah. I, I already like this already. Here we go. Question number <laughs> three. We are all at a karaoke bar. What is the song that you're choosing to give the performance of a lifetime? Um, Kiss of a Spider Woman. <gasps> oh, oh, my goodness. I haven't heard that in a long time. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Okay. She's doing good. All right. (laughs) Name a hidden talent of yours that would surprise people right now. Um. What about a non-existing one? (laughs) Nope. Has to be one that you Um. actually have that (laughs) that we don't know of. Okay, I can I can do this with my thumb. What the? <laughs> what Wait a the, minute! Wait a minute! Turn, that, turn, that sideways. turn your hand sideways. What? Turn your turn your. How do you do that? What? Ah! Oh my god! How is that possible? <gasps> what? I'm that's not to... that's not a double joint. <laughs> that's that's a... How the? Oh, Wait! Impossible! No! No! Wait! Oh. High five, guys! <laughs> she did that shit so effortlessly. What the hell? That's hurt. I, yeah. Matt, I blame you for this. I blame you for this <laughs> visual nightmare. 
<laughs> no, you will love me for it. What is wow. damn? That You'll is dream wild. about it. I love that we're all sitting here trying to break our own that, thumbs to see that we can do that. That is the most cleverest thing I think I've ever seen. No, all right. It really <laughs> does look like it cut your thumb. I well, <laughs> yeah, this this no, that's done now. That new thing, that's the new one. RC, RC, she's in. She's in. Just let her in. Just with that. She's in. I'm on. I'm, right. I'm on fire, guys. Let's go. Here we Let's go. go. Yeah. Next question. Finish this sentence. Never have I ever blank. Mm, never have I ever skydived. Oh. Did I, do that? Mm. Neither I, would, I just want to free fall out of a plane. Out of a helicopter. Let's go. I hate heights, so you gotta. I'll, I'll scream like a little bitch. Um, yes. Next question: What is some advice that was given to you that you will never forget? Mm. You don't have to look at her. You're good enough. Ah, bomb. Yeah. Okay. Like it. All Thank right. I, I like that. Next yeah. one. Between breakfast, lunch, or dinner, what is the best meal of the day? <laughs> oh, she looks offended. I am. I need three meals a day and snacks. Maybe a <laughs> snack too. Sorry, you got it. You got to choose which one's the best. <laughs> um, brunch. Like it. All right, I will allow it. Combining <laughs> two things. Uh, all right, I'll, I'll let that one sneak by. That's that's fine. We'll we'll have a different conversation off air on that one. Uh, <laughs> next next question. Describe your perfect day off. Uh, lying in bed, Watching eating the hot popcorn. Oh. oh yeah, guys, come on. I do that while I'm eating Burger King. What do you mean? Hey. <laughs> Love it. New sponsors. Um, yeah. Lying in bed, watching anime, and eating popcorn. Let's go. Love Good it. one. I like this. I love anime. Yeah, I can tell. Yes. <laughs> Is Berserker your favorite? Um, no. Soul Eater. Oh, damn. Yeah. You're, you're, into, like, one. Demon, you're into the demon stuff. I'm, I'm yeah. Here. Okay. <laughs> Out of all the characters you've ever played so far, which one could be your friend in real life? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, obviously, I have to say Valentina because she is the only character I've done on TV and she'll give me a few tips on how to read people and what they need, you know, how to deal with just people in general. Yeah. Ooh. And she's got bomb tattoos. Oh, yeah. Maybe <laughs> I'll meet her tattoo artists. Artists. <laughs> blah, 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 words. They might want to sober mine at this point, so it's a good, yeah. it's a good connection. Yeah. <laughs> and finally... We're at the end here. Here we go. This is always the most important one. It's the only carryover from last from the last one. If you had a theme song every time you entered a room, what song would it be? Oh. Hmm. See ya. I'm unstoppable. I'm on a poor show in them breaks. <laughs> unstoppable yeah. by Sia. Yeah. yeah. Very good. Hmm. Yeah, that's my theme well, song for the year as well. Oh shit! Love okay. it. <laughs> the whole year. So perfect question. Well, that concludes the Tong trials, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> so I turn it over to the Tong. What do we agree on? Is she in or is she out? Mm, let me think. Everybody ready? Everybody ready? One. In three, two, one. Oh. Yay! Marissa, congratulations. You have now been initiated into our Tong. Congratulations. You survived the Tong yeah. Trials. 
Uh, ooh, welcome. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. See, that wasn't so bad. Oh, I love it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so cute. <laughs> so much. Oh, so you survived the Tong trials. Uh, how does it feel? Guys, I was sweating. <laughs> and um, I, 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 I have a little tear here. Yeah, and um, I just feel so honored, guys. Really, Aww. thank you. We are. You, you guys us. really feel like One family. Uh, thank you. Oh, uh, we are your new family, so definitely <laughs> consider us family. Oh my goodness, <laughs> gonna make it. me cry. Really, <laughs> you are I making am the me cry. <laughs> Now, now, now we got that out of the way. We've got the tongues out of the way. I've got uh, a couple questions I do want to make sure we hit on because there are some really um, – the way that filming has changed over the years uh, for the better, um, I think there's certain things that deserve shout-outs. And uh, one of those things I think is really important to give a shout-out, especially in uh, your episode and your scenes with Jason, is uh, the new role of an intimacy coordinator. Can you explain a little bit about that for people that uh, maybe don't know what an intimacy coordinator is and about your intimacy coordinator and why they're so important? Um, yeah. Um, so shout out to Kate Lush. Thank you so much for carrying me and Jason through this scene. Um, I don't think I would have done it without you. And um, so an intimacy coordinator um, is like your negotiator to the director, basically. Um, not your mom on set or your director of the scene. Um, more of someone you can talk to if you feel uncomfortable with something. Like, say, maybe it's a kissing scene and you're not comfortable with um, an open mouth kiss and they are insisting on an open mouth kiss and you can say to her, but I don't feel comfortable, can we maybe do this? And she will negotiate or he, um, depends on who they are, um, they will negotiate to the director what you're comfortable with and they also introduce you and the actor, your, your co-actor um, to each other by say, let me say what she did with us, with me and Jason is like, um, hugs, the type of hugs of you just met um, you, and then you go on from you're not strangers anymore and then you go on from you've known each other for years and you haven't seen each other in years and the, all that depends on what type of hug you will give to each other and how comfortable then you are with each other and um, I honestly am not doing this explanation justice um, she does have an a, like a link or an a, uh, an account for this if you want to read up on it more I just think that intimacy coordinators make you feel much safer um, as well and they can just yeah they they can they make you feel safe and they are also there to prevent like sexual harassments happening right. or stuff like that um, very important stuff that um many people have taken advantage on maybe on set and mm -hmm. yeah mm -hmm. and so say you're not comfortable with doing anything like i said they can negotiate for you if you can instead do something else is this scene really necessary um so if it's maybe tweakable in another direction or you know so i'm really not doing this justice and maybe oh, no, i can are. put her I know I can put her um, a, a link for her where you can read more about it on my Instagram for and sure. just tag her in it. And they will do this explanation a lot more justice than I will. And, but yeah, that's basically the duty of a, a, the duty of an intimacy coordinator. And yeah, I don't think I would have done this without Kate because after that scene, I almost passed out. <laughs> oh, wow. Bro, now, yeah. now, when you say that, did, you, did you pass up uh was it because of just the pressure of it was it uh, the physicality of it was it a combination of both i think Nerves. it was a combination of everything um mm -hmm. and she just came and hugged me and said get out of it um 
you know, the scene, get out of uh, this character now because you're done for the day. Um, so just get step out and be yourself now. And she just hugged me. I breathed and my body just went and I came back wow. to it. Yeah, it was, I think it was wow. a combination of everything at Amazing. once. Yeah. Wow. I'm uh, I'm so happy to hear that uh, it went so well for you and that you were comfortable on set. And it, it, it shines through uh, with both yours and Jason's performance there. Uh, doing those intimate scenes is never easy, and uh, especially when you're surrounded by a room full of people uh, that are yeah. criti criti critiquing just the way you hold your hand or, or the, the position of your elbow. So, um, yeah, thanks to your coordinator and uh, thanks to you and Jason, obviously, for, for doing this as well. Uh, we yeah. have a couple other comments here. Uh, Trevor O'Tim says, Little Zeus is sweating that Valentina is now in the tongue. <laughs> I think we already established that. Oban is little Zeus, and I'm big fat Zeus. Uh, <laughs> uh, but did you says, say oh. big bad Zeus? I said big fat, but no, uh, big, big bad. bad. Let's go. It's big right. bad Zeus. I like it. I like it. You, you I've got the listen to our new initiate, motherfucker. <laughs> well, as RCR says, don't tell her about the iron cauldron of hot coal she needs to carry it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I can handle oh, the heat, baby. I, that's that's after you gotta you gotta right. chill. You gotta. That's you, the first initiate, the second initiation. And Derek says the gradual hug sequence is so interesting. Makes perfect sense. It really does too, especially from an acting point of view. I would say, because when you are acting, that's not necessarily going to be the thing that you're thinking of. Oh, is this yeah. the first time? You hug? You're just going to be like, oh, how do I hug someone I know, or or how do I hug? Mm -hmm. Gonna be thinking, oh, is this the first time? Is do I do it a little bit different? The more, the more I yeah, know. how do you position the hug or doesn't look awkward? Hmm. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Which uh TV, if, if you can if you can pull off anything on camera and make it look comfortable, you're doing a great job. Because <laughs> most times you're on in front of a camera, they're making you do things your body's not supposed to be doing. No, yeah, not at all. <laughs> <laughs> That's Listen. why you have stunt people. Oh yeah, see, I, I never, I never work on anything that is no. uh, a, that, that pays enough to have stunt people. <laughs> That's why. That's why Frank over there is is training me, so that way I don't need no damn stunt people. There you go. There <laughs> you need go. It. It's Matt's me. gonna be playing Nightwing all by himself. No stunt person there. <laughs> yes, absolutely. He's come a long way in a short time, so he really has. No man. Keep he going. really has, though. Keep going. We're gonna. I wish oh, I could be there so that Frank can train me. That would be amazing. <laughs> I've only got like so. six months M MMA experience and like a year of boxing, but that's yeah. not even close. Oh, wow. he will. No, that's he already will, a good get you there. This this man is a ridiculous teacher, and you will learn <laughs> shit, <laughs> <laughs> shit that you didn't expect to do, but you're doing it. It's wild. I know. I'm, I'm waiting for him to expand into Toronto or into Niagara here in Canada. Do it. Do it all. You know we got to change uh, our name then, right, Frank? If, if if we expand, we can't just be New J NJB that's, anymore. That's a lot of letters now. Is this, hey, wait, 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 wait. wait, wait, wait. What, is, what is this we? Isn't it Frank? Frank is the Sifu and you're the... No, I'm just kidding. Uh, <laughs> We're just like I'm right in the middle of this. I love yes, it. Yes, no. in French. <laughs> this is oh my gosh. Everyone's like we we we've lost the wheels at this point. Um, I think that's a great point. We are we're hitting that uh, one hour mark, and this has uh, been absolutely amazing. Uh, does anybody else on uh, any of the other hosts have any other questions for the amazing Larissa Jordan before uh, we hop out of here? Yeah, just one uh, one quick one. Um, how do you feel that being a part of this experience has helped you grow in this craft, like before and after uh, being on this set, being a part of this uh, production? Um, so before this, I really lost faith that I was in the right industry, <laughs> um, in the right business, work, whatever you want to call it. Um, I was losing faith in myself. Um, I was doubting myself a lot with the acting stuff and um and then this happened and I've just grown so much more comfortable and 
confident is the big word here. Um, confidence. I've just gained so much confidence in doing this and um, meeting new people. It has made me interact with a, with a lot of more people and I don't really interact with a lot of people um, aside from my family or and it's just made me more um, aware of strangers or, um, you know, the big word here is really com confidence and, um, yeah, seeing myself out there in this acting industry and not just doubting myself ever again. <laughs> yeah, it's funny that you mentioned that, too, because... Um... I remember when Jason was on here with us, he was saying that even the big named actors, you know, there's always that he was saying there was always that doubt about whether or not they will work again. You know, he was yeah, saying, uh, yeah. mentioning just the fear and the anxiety that's involved in that world. Because even if you do a series like this and you get a featured role, it doesn't mean that's your big break. Um, you you'll have to do a lot of other things as well um, before you walk the red carpet or get a golden globe or whatever you have to really also make your own work because otherwise you won't find it anywhere else just lying around you know so yeah it's scary it's scary but exciting at the same time it, it always feels. yes it's like i told my friend the other day it's like an abusive relationship you just keep going back and wow. I don't want to romanticize any of, you know, the abusive stuff, but it yeah. really is almost, you're not, you're just like a slave to the craft at this mm -hmm. point. You just keep going back for more with all the rejection and the hard no's and you're just like, no, man, I can get a yes. Yeah. And the more no's you get, the closer you are to your yes. Exactly. Uh, Trevor says, uh, this show has turned me and I'm sure Larissa into warriors uh, yes. in the terms of acting, right? So, yeah, it is a tough, like, it's, there, there's people who get into acting, I think, to, for fame, but those, uh, those, 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 those few that get into it for, for the craft and for the love of it. I mean, it, like, I totally identify with what you're saying with the, you know, being a, an abusive relationship that you just keep going back to. I mean, yeah, because it it can it can beat you down, uh, but it can also make you feel like uh, you're the king or queen of the world. So it really yeah. does. It's great, and I love that right now your your star is shining. I I hope that uh, while it's shining, you get every opportunity afforded to you, and you get to just grab that brass ring and uh, and just shoot shoot for the stars. And, and we know you're going to get you. it. Oh. No, clearly we love you dearly. We love you dearly. Yeah, thank no, you so you were... much for all the love, guys. Uh, I really didn't good. expect this. <laughs> well, that's what we like to hear. Uh, we, we 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 like to to, to shock and also uh, share share the love because this, this whole show, this is all it started from, is just uh, our love for Warrior and then uh, the community that we happen to find. Yeah. We find it in that warrior group run by Brian and we find it with all the producers, actors and every, and all the fans all interacting together. Uh, it's, it's something I've never seen in my life happen before. This and, is uh, a fighting community guys. Yo. Yeah. And we're winning, we're going to win the fight. Uh, we're going to get mm -hmm. more people out there watching warrior. They're going to use the hashtags that you see down. Oh, Rebecca Nishi. That's where you're going to go. <laughs> 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 in order to save well. Warrior, you yeah, gotta go through Rebecca. That's <laughs> might as well. Those, but also, you know, uh, if you're looking for uh, to support our show at all, of course, please watch on YouTube. As always, we we, we record live uh, on Sundays, but we put it up every day. This is this is gonna get deleted very soon, and then it'll be up. You'll be able to see it on YouTube. Uh, please go like, share, subscribe. Uh, Larissa, where can people find you online? Um, you can find me on my Instagram at Larissa Jordan with one A, eight eleven. Yeah, oh. and um, Facebook on La Larissa Jordan actress page. So if you want to follow me there, go for it, guys. Don't be shy. Um, <laughs> what do you yeah. have coming up on the horizon? 
Yeah. Um, like anything interesting so you're working on or going or coming up? So far, it's auditions starting early this year. A few voiceover auditions and um, starting the 29th of Jan, I'm going back to the traveling theater again, um, mm -hmm. doing some shows for schools um, about cyberbullying. So that's great, spreading a message. And um, yeah, and hopefully for the best, a few other big things. I am keeping my hopes up and my thumbs crossed. Fingers crossed, I mean, not my thumbs. <laughs> yeah, definitely the thumbs crossed, because yeah, holy shit. <laughs> yeah, yeah, the, yeah the, the, the thumb, the I love that the, thumb, the one thumb crosses on its own. Uh, <laughs> I did not realize that one question was just going to start a whole thing. That is a whole thing. It's definitely... There, there. Am I doing it? Am I doing I it? No, you can I tell. Can't. I can't do it. Right. There we go. It looks like this is yeah. the new um fourth sign. Oh my god. Let's go. Oh! Okay, wait. Yeah. wait. Oh wait, no, what did you do to my Star Trek? Um, <laughs> <laughs> Larissa. Oh my god. This is when Spock when Spock was so when Quentin Tarantino makes a Star Trek movie and then they have to do like Stock is gonna get tortured. His thumb's gonna get taken off, and you're gonna get to do the. Um, <laughs> you're, gonna, you're gonna be the the hand double. The, it's gonna end up yeah. The thumb double. The thumb um, double. This is <laughs> double. Yes. The thumb double. Uh, uh, this was great. We love you so much for being on here. Uh, thank you so much for being a part of our talk. Uh, I want to make sure everybody, if you, if you want to, like I started to mention, go follow us on YouTube, of course. Uh, you can follow, find our podcast on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Google Podcasts, and Amazon. Of course, the Hop This Way show on YouTube. And folks, we actually do have some uh, some gear for you. If you're looking for a nice little wine tumbler, the Hop This Way, or maybe these nice shirts that everybody's sporting it's today. Official. Or it's the official. mug. Go official, folks. That's right. Uh, you can get that all at the shop. The shop, the hop this way Stop. show. My shop. If you want to see them all in one shot, just click Derek's photo. Yes, <laughs> <click> Derek's <laughs> photo. and you will see Derek. Uh, we'll just see all give us the ultimate love. <laughs> Derek, you you single handedly are uh, keeping the show going. <laughs> um, <laughs> Look at right. that. All right, and uh, Trevor says Larissa will be a thumb stunt woman. <laughs> Larissa, Larissa is destined to be a lot more than just a thumb uh, model. <laughs> I think uh, I, I honestly, uh, I cannot see see it where we don't see Larissa in either a Star Wars joint or the next type of Vikings type series series. Well, I mean, because she I is mean, what's, you are definitely what, a warrior. What's Tropper doing next? I mean, I'm just saying. You know, oh, yeah. uh, if they can get me some Why auditions, if they oh, yeah. if I know a few people, I can just like maybe ask. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Yeah. But um, I hope so. I hope so. Big dreams, big dreams out there, guys. Yo. It will come. It. Thank right, you. Folks. Uh, well, I, I think uh, I think we we we've basically reached the end of the show. RCR hatches up. Uh, RCR, Mel, Beth, Derek, Chin, um, the Blom Bombshell, everyone else who watched live today with us, we, we thank you all, all our fans, and of course, Rebecca Nishi, Stephanie Young Pratt, the master, Professor Frank Jean, the one, the only, the heartthrob himself, Mr. Matt Chua, Money Matt, and Valentina herself. Yes. This is Larissa Jordan, our newest <laughs> member of the time. All right, now Larissa, I don't know. You've never you've never done the out with us. I, I, have you seen the show before? Have you seen how we do our outro? Oh, she's um, I've seen the show before, but I think I might have just exited before you did the yeah, it's I do the thing. So if you she's just want to people watch. commenting, so definitely I've definitely have seen, yeah. uh, seen her comments on the show, so appreciate that also. Oh, exactly. All right, uh, we're, so we're, we're gonna do this. So we can get it one in one shot. Everybody to the right, right first. To your right. <laughs> You're right. right. You're right. Everybody's natural. Right. Right. Yeah. Everybody's Go ahead. Right. Okay. And with that, folks, let's, let's get, get it. Get it. Uh,
I mean, the, 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 the Rock Cats can do it any better than we did it. <laughs> Everybody, no one love can. you all. We hope you all have a great day. And uh, from our tongue to yours. Peace.